Hi folks, how's it going? Good to see you. What was that you wanted? Ah, so you're here for 1600 you management of the enterprise yes and i bet you want to see the course outline right because you don't want to read it you know what i'm going to do i'm going to call inside steve to see if he can help you out there hey inside steve hey yeah what is it yeah so i've got these yeah i've got these people and they want to yeah, course outline, yeah. What do you mean, I'm reading? Yeah, I know. Don't you ever interrupt me while I'm reading a book. Okay, so they want to see. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Hi, guys. You want to see the course outline? Great. Thanks, outside Steve. I appreciate it. Bye. Let's see. Where could I find the course outline? Okay, so we'll start with the obvious boring things. Um, there are two sections. Figure out which one you're in because you have different synchronous sessions per week. Some on Tuesdays and some on Thursdays. There's the times and the days. Okay, so figure out. If you can't figure out, just ask. We'll see what we can do. Look at that. There's no final exam for this course, so don't ask if there's an exam. Okay. The instructor's me. Hi, I'm inside Steve. Nice to see you. And um, we do have some TAs, and I shall introduce them to you as soon as I can. Course description. Not going to do that. You can read. Learning outcomes. Not going to do them. You can read. Course design. Okay. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly, but... Um, Feel free to read it as well because there's a lot of fun stuff in there. I promise I wrote it. Um, we've split the course into six modules, six, six modules, each of two weeks in length. And we've done that because we want to have some discussions about the content of the module online for which you get grades. And we'll get to that in a second. Each module has a few different topics associated with it, some assessment associated with it, and so on. Okay. So there are six of them. Let me just skip down here. There's all kinds of rules here. This is all kinds of interesting and it's useful for you to read it. And so I suggest that you do. Here is the outline of the topics of the course. First module starts on September the 3rd, which is when classes start and covers things like, you know, what are we doing? the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which we will be, you will be thinking about through the course, um, and what businesses are, why they exist, stuff like that. There is no synchronous session in the first week, look at that, it says so there. But there is a synchronous session on Tuesday or Thursday, Tuesday the 10th or Thursday the 12th, at our usual time, and there will be a quiz with 5%. Right, the next module is all IT and IS, ethics and privacy, corporate social responsibility, so on. There are two synchronous sessions associated with this, the first on the 17th or the 19th and the second on the 24th or the 26th and so on and so forth. There is a test in the one on the 26th or the 24th, see, it says so here. So if you read through the, here's another one, schedule. You'll be able to see when the tests are, when the sessions are, and what the content is. Okay, look at that, this Thanksgiving day on October the 14th. Who knew? Me. Um, so the final three modules are after Thanksgiving. There they are. Each one of them has a test associated with it. And in the fifth module, in the second synchronous session, as well as a test, we're going to begin our SAP experimental game and we'll finish that in module six. There is um, a test, as I said, associated with each one. Each test is worth 5% and there are six modules, so that would, you would suggest, be like um, 30%. But I'm going to take the top five 
So that's worth 25% in total. There is an activity. Look at this. This is for module six. Module six has an activity. Module five has an activity. Module four, three, two, one. They all have an activity with 6%. And that 6% is for discussions. Right, so there is a discussion board on Canvas, which we're going to use. I'm going to split into different um, modules. I'll be creating all of that stuff for you. And in each module, what I would like you to do is to discuss aspects of the content and how it relates to things like the sustainable development goals, things like the world affairs right now, um, things that matter in terms of how businesses work, so on. Um, it's entirely, to a large extent, it's entirely up to you, although I'll provide some um, talking points and stuff at the start of each session, but you'll be expected to contribute to the discussion boards, both in terms of new questions and in terms of answering and posting stuff to answer the questions that are there. Let me just skip down to that bit there. Um, not only will, so let's do the first thing first. We will monitor the discussion board and we will answer questions if we can, but if you see a question that you can answer about what's happening in the course, do that. Feel free. Um, but the discussions are about what's happening a lot in the content for that particular module. And what I'd like you to do, let me just get back to this for a second, is to participate in the module, reply constructively, check in on discussions for at least three times a week for about 20 minutes each time, so that's an hour a week. Create at least one new discussion thread post or thread before the end of the first week and five to ten response posts to other learning learners postings within the two weeks of the module. You will be graded on content, not I did a lot of posts. So quantity and timeliness of posts. If you don't participate, you get zero points. Uh, responding to most posts several days after the discussion too great. At least one initial post before the midpoint of the session and submits at least five peer review before the end. That's a pretty good one. And excellent is more than one initial post before the midpoint of the session. Remember that sessions are two weeks. And more than five before the end of the session. Also, note this, does not post more than ten posts in a session. What's that all about? I'll leave you to figure it out. But it probably makes sense. Okay, this next one is about quality, and that's what's in your post. Although, um, is it of good quality? Does it make sense? Uh, is it relating to the topic at hand and so on? And the third is about contribution to learning. You can see that in the rubric there. I don't need to read it to you, but what we're looking for is are you helping other people learn? Are you showing your learning? Are you pushing the knowledge of the course forwards? We will be granting, grading. We won't be grading. We'll be grading it though. Every two weeks, up to six percent per module. So that gives us thirty-six percent in total for the course. Right? Excellent. We will be monitoring this. Um, on a regular basis throughout the week, one of the TAs and or me, and we will try and um, push the discussion along if it needs to be pushed along and so on, but this is down to you, uh, helping each other learning and responding to and helping the rest of the class, as well as yourself, to do some learning. So the discussion will be interesting, hopefully, and probably a bit of a challenge, at least for the first week or two. But uh, we'll take that into account in our grading. Um, after the first week or two, when we've pointed stuff out or 
you've done some stuff already and you've got used to it, then obviously we'll be um, looking for good stuff from you. Ooh, that's one of mine. That's one of my donkeys. All right, that's the discussions. Then, so, so far we've got a test, yeah, and a discussion. So 61% is that stuff. What can you do on your own? The next is a group activity. And again, it's going to be a presentation, possibly a document as well. I haven't quite decided yet, but we'll get to that. Um, and it's due in November, and it's worth 20%. So you will work in groups, which I will assign to you, and you will put together a presentation and, and like I said, perhaps a document to discuss something related to the course and SDGs. That's worth 20% and then there's another 10% because you get to peer grade each other and the 10% is based on things like how well you peer grade, the kind of comments you make and so on. That gives us 91% and so then there's class activity. Engagement in the synchronous sessions is worth 9% and we'll be doing that in terms of attendance, um, in terms of how often you contribute in the synchronous sessions, the kind of things you contribute and so on. There were bonus marks around and there is an SAP, like I mentioned earlier, game thing, which is also worth bonus marks. Very quickly, late submission, 10% per hour. Oh my goodness. Um, for the group project and the peer review. Do note that because we're not likely to be that, um, what's the word? Flexible, there you go. And it is a silent running policy, like 24 hours before or after the group assignment is due, when we will not be looking at our emails from you. So if you need an extension or you need to discuss something or you have questions, better do it before then. All right, so, what have we got? Um, let's see. Yeah, 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 stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that kind of stuff. Read this bit, it's good. Uh, I promise. Yeah, and I guess that's it. So we've got discussions, we've got tests, we've got group assignment, we've got participation. All right. That should do it. And like it says, there's no final exam. There are all kinds of ways that you can get in touch with us to figure out if you're having issues. So do that. Canvas messaging is the best because let's face it, what have I got now? 32,000 unread messages, although most of them, to be honest, are spam. So I don't actually think it really counts. Um, but yeah, on Canvas, I'll get back to you within 24 hours on being well, generally speaking. And your TAs are also here to help uh, when I introduce them. All right, I think that might be all. I'm just gonna head back to um, outside Steve to finish this stuff off because really, we're good. And I wanna read my paper. See ya. So there you go. That was the course outline. Thank you, Inside Steve. And um, if you have any issues or problems, you know where to get in touch with us. I'm sure Inside Steve already told you. Um, yeah. Have a great rest of day. Bye.